Today, with the continuous development and upgrading of grinders, the job of sharpening blades has become much more effortless. You can easily buy most new plane blades, chisel blades, and so on from the store ready to use. If the cutting edge of the blade is not finished when purchased or has been badly chipped, just carefully smooth the backside first, and then start the sharpening process with the grinder. My grandfather told me that he always used a coarse stone, as was accustomed to dress blades. Mechanical tools were not generally used then in Japan, but today there are many types of machines and tools available to dress or redress a blade a faster process. You can also modify the blade to suit your preferences. It is best to maintain the original bevel angle of the blade until you know differently. However, no matter how well the machine supports it, the sharpening itself and honing of the final edge must be done by hand, no matter what. Before deeply into the sharpening process, I will say a few words about sharpening stones. Many shokunin prefer natural water stones to sharpen, although man-made water stones are also fine to use. When using water stones, keep in mind that water must be added continuously or the pores of the stone will become clogged. Keeping the surface clean allows the stone to cut faster. Shokunin placed a bucket of water next to the stone or placed a sink-like wooden box beneath the stone to facilitate continuous wetting. Water stones are mainly three types needed, coarse, medium, and finished. Nowadays, as I mentioned, with the help of grinders, only the medium and finishing stones are used when sharpening. But if you want to challenge yourself by redressing a blade, then coarse stone is necessary to start with. Each craftsman has slightly different preferences. If you're a beginner, however, I recommend you use 1200 grit and 8000 grit man-made water stones to create a good edge. After mastering, you could use 6000 grit in the middle to save time on finishing the stone. Before changing stone, avoid transferring coarse particles to finer stones by rinsing the blade in water. Also, allow the stone you are working on still retains its paste formed, and during the last few strokes relieve pressure on the blade. When the stone dries, its pores will be slightly clogged by the paste which will act as an intermediate grit and ease the transition to the next stone. For the finest possible edge, do the final step in the sharpening process, before leaving the final finishing stone.
During the sharpening process, the way the blade is held is extremely important. The plain blade is held in the palm of the right hand with the index finger extended. Place the first 3 or 4 fingers of your left hand, depending on the size of the blade, in the space created by the right thumb and index finger. Your fingers will maintain pressure on the blade to keep the bevel steady. The left thumb, placed under the blade, will provide support for the back.